want to know the only reason why I have not committed suicide is because I know where I am is not my last time. It's got to be a way that God is getting ready to get me out of this. If you look at your neighbor and say, you may want to scoot over. You may, you may want to scoot over because I feel like I'm getting ready to get out of it. I got the wrong church. <laughs> look at your neighbor and tell them, I've been in this the first two months of the year. But God owes me some stuff. He, he, he promised some stuff to me. So, so there's no way I'm going to die in the condition that I'm in. I, I'm too anointed to die in an apartment. Too gifted to just have a nine to five job. God has promised me too much just to be a baby mama. But if God opens a door for me, I'm getting ready to come out of here. So no matter how long you've been in it, and then I have the same question for 27 years. And I won't get out of this. It was the same question that Daniel had to ask while he was in the lion's den. When it is that they sealed it. And something critical because I don't want you to look at the text through a Disney lens. But to know that you are in a place filled with lions with no windows. It's easy to trust God when you can see your way out. And it takes a double dimension of faith to trust God. Watch yes, this. Yes, and when yes. the people around you want to get right. out. Yes, yes. See, some of you just have haters. Other people are surrounded by assassins. I, I don't mind you just hating off me. That's but right. a different level of hate when you want to see me dead. And the evidence you want to see me dead is every time you see me, you look surprised. And the reason why you look surprised is because you didn't think I was going to get out of it. But if there's anybody in the room that survived something, watch this, that should have killed you. But you came out of it alive. I came to give God glory. And I, I still don't know how I got out of it. But God is still in the midst of this. Same thing he said about God. Something can be said for the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I want you to take careful notice of something that takes place in Daniel 3 that warrants our attention. Is that these young men are just between the ages of 14 and 17, 